I don't know if you consider this scene inviting, but uh, this is just a, just a start to place a nice spotlight in the back. That's, this, uh, that's what this tutorial is going to be about. Arnold's spotlight and uh, maybe a little bit of fog in the scene. Um, choose any kind of object. Uh, I just had fun modeling three uh, furniture pieces in one minute each. Uh, I like to do these uh, short tests from time to time. So this is a chair modeled in a minute. This is an armchair modeled in uh, <laughs> maybe half a minute. And uh, this sofa was modeled in maybe uh, a minute too. I, because I had to do some thinking about these uh, not vertical uh, sections. Anyway, the ground plane is the fourth object. Cube, cube, cube with extrusions and the ground plane. And I uh, added an Arnold shader, surface shader to it uh, with a ramp. Uh, this time a circular ramp which goes from blue to white. And uh, that's basically all. I want to light this scene now. And in order to do this, I always like to start whatever kinds of lights I introduce uh, with a sky dome light. And I set the sky dome light. You see it in the in the in the background already. It's sitting there. And uh, we will ignore it later, but uh, we will adjust its settings now. It's set to 1 by default, which makes the scene very bright. We set it to 0 0.1. So it gives us just a glimpse of what we want to see. And this is what it does. It's an amazing image, really, uh, compared to what we could do four or five years ago without Arnold and without global illumination. That's what this process here is called. We have wonderful diffuse shadows, although we don't see a lot. This is just nice. Well, we'll introduce a light now, a special light source, which uh, illuminates our, our three objects from the back. And Arnold provides such lights here in the light section. It does, uh, it, well, area light would be closest to a spotlight. We want to have a spotlight though. The area light can be changed from rectangular to a disc shape, but it's not really a spotlight. And I think uh, the reason for this is because the Arnold developers at Solid Angle uh, appreciated what Maya has provided for uh, since the beginning, basically. Uh, a very powerful and very simple to set up light called a spotlight. Here it is under Create Lights Spotlight. So if you create the spotlight, it sits here. And now let's go to another window like this one. Spotlight is here. And I want to look through the spotlight now in order to place it properly. And this is uh, what I'm doing now. Press and hold the spacebar. The hotbox comes up under Panels. I go to Look Through Selected. I'm looking through the selected object, which is the spotlight. And it sees this. And if I move it a little bit to the back, it sees the scene here. And I want to place it somewhere here. Like this. Now, here I have several settings for the spotlight. Wait a minute. That's already Arnold. I want to uh, change the general um, settings here. Here's the cone angle. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get to. Um, I reduce the cone angle so it focuses on the objects quite precisely. I can always move the light in the scene like so. And the penumbra angle, which is currently set to zero, uh, gives us this effect. You see, it softens to the outside. And that's basically all I want to do with the general settings of uh, the spotlight here. And now I press spacebar, go back to my perspective view and I don't see the light here because I need to switch this thing on and now I see the light working. This is what the graphics card shows me. It doesn't show me shadows but it shows me the basic illumination of the scene and now I can render it and it looks the same, almost the same as before. And the reason is, of course, that Arnold has a special way to treat light intensity with a drop off of, uh, uh, of the square root, of the square actually. And uh, this is why we have to pump up the exposure, 
massively. And that's what we're going to do now. Just go down to the Arnold section. It's here. Open it up. Where is it again? Here. And the exposure currently is set to zero. So let's set it to maximum here, which is still very little, but we can already see the dim rim of the spotlight. So let's just select this and enter 15. And now it's a very bright light, so we can reduce it now with a slider again and until we have uh, quite a nice setting. This is a rendering already, you see, and uh, it's not the graphics card output. And uh, if you get closer to the, or have a closer look at the shadows, let's do this here in the scene, just move a little bit closer. We're moving the perspective cam camera now and not the uh, not the uh, the light source. The light source stays where it is. Let's have a look at the shadows here. Um, there's uh, an important thing about the shadows here under the Arnold section. Let me see where it is. It's uh, the radius of the shadow. Yeah, currently it's absolutely sharp shadows, although in nature the shadow becomes softer the wider, the more distanced it is from uh, the object, and that's what radius does. If we pump this up, we get a softer shadow here. And of course it's quite grainy because we have not adjusted the render settings here, but let's leave it at maybe this here. and. Basically, this is all we want to do about it. Now, we want, as the final touch of this um, rendering, we want to introduce a, a sort of a fog in the light. And this is, oddly enough, not found here, but in the render settings. So, before we do this, let's get a uh, more a better overview of the whole scene, which could be here. Render again with Arnold. That's our scene with the softer shadows now. Let's maybe go a little bit further back and maybe move the plane a little bit away from us so we have more in the back. We can scale it up, of course, and move it back. Like this, much better, yeah. Okay, well, we're in the blue area already, which is not bad at all. Um, so, we go to the render settings now, and I don't know if we have to select the light, I don't think so, actually. And we go to, this is Legacy, here under Environment, sorry. Um, you see in the Arnold render settings, you see a section called Environment. That's where you're going. You ignore the background, which is Legacy from the past, so to say. If you've worked with Arnold in the past, you might use this. But instead you go to Atmosphere, and you add an atmosphere. And what you do is add Create an Atmosphere Volume. And uh, now you can close this tab, and in the Attribute Editor you have this environment thing, an atmosphere. And it currently doesn't turn up here in the render view, because the ten density is set to zero. So let's, let's raise the density, and here you are. Here we go. This is what it does. You can give it another color, but let's stick to white can change other settings here. See it's get, getting sharper from radiating from the light source now. And if we look at the light here in this scene, where is it? Up there. You see how wonderfully this sort of fog from the light works. So we can reduce it a little bit. Just a little bit. And this is the scene we have. So what we did in this tutorial was have a closer look at the spotlight, the Maya spotlight, and how to use it with Arnold.